Well, a very good morning, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. And tonight, or well, today, I'm offering you a book recommendation of one of my favorite books, and that is this one right here. Look Around Chinook County, Vermont. Uh, it was edited by Lillian Baker Carlisle. Photographs were by Samuel J. Hatfield and published by the Chinook County Historical Society. And that information is right here. Whoops. Sorry about the, uh, <laughs> the glare right there. So this is, um, if you're familiar at all with the look around Chinook County, uh, look around Burlington, look around Jericho, those, those, um, booklets from long ago, this book consists of all of them. Yay. So, uh, I know that I had owned all of them at some point in my life, but no longer do so. So when I found this book, totally by accident on eBay, I didn't know this thing existed, actually. I was elated because, um, I mean, you may be able to contact the Chittenden County Historical Society and uh, and find they still have some of those pamphlets. Every now and then, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of fun that they have some of this that's from so long ago. Um, I mean, you could see if this one's still available, it's, it's so out of print. Um, when you figure that the, the, um, Burlington neighborhoods, the, the, um, historic guide to, uh, Burlington neighborhoods, uh, those books came out, the first one came out in 1991. I, I recommended, I recommended those books. Um, then, and they're out of print from 1991. Uh, this book is 19, uh, 1976. So a 46 year old book, woefully out of print. Um, so let me just read to you from the uh, inside of the front cover. Let me turn my handy dandy light closer to me so that I actually can read from this front cover. Alrighty, in 1971, Chittenden County Historical Society, in preparation for the bicentennial celebration of the United States of America, undertook to research, write, and publish booklets by the county's 17 towns and cities. In 1975, they completed their mission. Now those nine booklet booklets have been brought together in this hardcover limited edition of 500 copies of Look Around Chittenden County. More than 50, that's five zero, 50 members of the society worked on the project as text writers using their source material, town histories, centennial celebrations, souvenir booklets, probate and other court records, atlases, maps, real estate transfers, land records, wills, and other legal documents, church, baptismal, and cemetery records, obituaries and memorials, genealogies, contemporary account books, journals and diaries, census records, and contemporary newspapers. Here, in approximately 250,000 words and 1,000 photographs, uh, pictures, the amazing fabric of Chittenden County's 1976 environment is portrayed. Historians and researchers of the future will be grateful for this bountiful harvest when they seek to reconstruct the life and times of Chittenden County in this bicentennial year. The, uh, the uh, back cover talks about Lillian Baker Carlisle, and Samuel J. Hatfield. So uh, Samuel J. Hatfield, unfortunately, died in 1975, a year before this book came out, 1899 to uh, 1975. So as, as I go and open this book, whoops, <laughs> there goes the, the, uh, the uh, dust jacket. Oops. Um, let me see. Table of contents. My poor book. <laughs> table of contents is an introduction. And then the table of contents, the map of Vermont. This is the uh, map of Vermont. It's uh, the words on there are the different... 
um, counties in Vermont. Statement of Purpose of the Chittenden County Historical Society. And then these are the uh, booklets themselves. Look around Burlington. Look around Jericho, Underhill, and Westford. Look around Winooski. Look around Essex and Williston. Look around Hinesburg and Charlotte. Look around Richmond, Bolton, and Huntington. Look around St. George and Shelburne. Look around South Burlington. And look around Colchester and Milton. The dedication on this page, to all who helped to make Look Around Chittenden County a reality, we are grateful. To Samuel J. Hatfield, 1899-1975, who died before that happened, we dedicate this book. Now, he was the photographer in this book, and um, uh, so all the pictures are in black and white. Not, I mean, I'm not surprised. I, I was born in the 60s and grew up in the 70s. So it was, it was uh, common that there'd be black and white photos but, and not color photos. It was pretty unusual, say, in a, in a textbook in my elementary school, that any, there'd be any colored pictures. But every now and then, there would be ones like, ooh, it's color, it's full color, oh my gosh. <laughs> I always went stop the presses on that one, but uh, um, it just wasn't common. Now, I find uh, this page where the Chittenden County Historical Society has a, a bit of information about themselves. And uh, <laughs> the, first, the, the uh, first part of the first sentence is uh, in all caps. You don't have to be an historian to enjoy membership in the Chittenden County Historical Society, nor even a writer or researcher. <laughs> but I love that. You don't have to be an historian. <laughs> All righty. So on the um, uh, first, on this page right here, this page here. Oh, and that, that dog on book cover just doesn't want to stay on. My cover's already so warm. I mean, I, I, when I bought the book, it was it was somewhat worn, uh, certainly to some degree. As a forty six year old book, it's going to be worn, um, and it was um, it was the property of some corporation in Montpelier, Vermont. So um, a used book on top of that. So uh, so look, so for a look around Burlington, Vermont, the editor was Lillian Baker Carlisle, Margaret Hazen Muller, and David J Blow for text. And then Samuel J. Hatfield for photographs. And this is the Heritage Series pamphlet number one. This page. Oops. Don't tear the pages, Patricia. This one is of the towns and cities that are um, in, the, in the book. So each of the booklets. Now, if you're using this for, if you're, you know, it's, it's a great read. Let me start with that. It's a great read. And um, let's see. <laughs> what I like about it in particular is, is um, reading it again after all these years. I see these buildings and think, oh, yeah, yeah. I really want to show them that one. That's so interesting. I bet you they can't tell what this building started life as. Um, that's always the, I, I find it really fun to share with you. Um, so the Look Around Burlington pamphlet or booklet that is in here uh, has a lot of addresses uh, of the buildings, which is fantastic. Because then, you know, I can... Um, I can do a street view, and hopefully there's a street view, but there should be one on, on Google Maps for that to determine if it's still standing and uh, how dilapidated it may or may not look. But some of the other booklets don't have street addresses, so it's so frustrating. So this one, for instance, this one here. 
This is not Burlington. This is uh, in the Underhill one. This building was the Barney Tavern in Underhill Flats, and as of 1976, it was a private dwelling. It probably still is. Um, let me read you some of this, and then uh, you'll understand why it's such a bummer that I don't know where exactly it is. Uh, but from here, quote, For more than 150 years, this sturdily built two-story house, located close to the main road in Underhill Flats Village, has watched the passing scene, charming the village and passerby alike. Resolute and forthright, it exhibits honest measure and no frills. Until, that is, one notes the nice double scroll carving above the over the front door, the small lunette window under the gable, and the cornice molding outlining the roof. Built probably about 1800 to 1810, the house is a rectangle with long side parallel to the road, four rooms on the main floor and four up, a spacious entrance hall and stairs that follow a straight course to the second floor. This house has had an interesting life. Martin C. Barney and Edward Hutchings operated it as a tavern for many years. The tavern bar is still in place. The shelves behind it now fill with books instead of bottles. The southeast corner room of the building was probably the tavern room, as there is a separate outside entrance. I mean, I guess I have a little bit of information um, that's close to the main road in Underhill Flats Village. How many streets are off of that main road, though? <sighs> anyway. I don't even, well, that would be a lot of uh, driving and looking around, um, <laughs> which is appropriate given the look around series. But uh, it's, uh, if you like that kind of writing, which I do, and uh, you enjoy history, which clearly I do, what's the name of the channel? Traveling for History, right? Uh, then... I think you'd like this book, especially if you live here in uh, Chittenden County, or if you just live in Vermont. You may enjoy uh, reading this, seeing the pictures, all that stuff. It's um, it's a worthwhile read, let me tell you. And um, I highly recommend it. Look around Chittenden County, Vermont. I mean, if you can find it on eBay or if... Uh, who knows, if the Chittenden County Historical, Historical Society has it tucked away somewhere in some attic space. Actually, do they have a... I don't know if they have a home base. But uh, anyway, it's, uh, it's a great read. You won't go wrong with this. Um, oh, this is the, uh, the edge of it. Really great when, you, when it's on your bookshelf and it's really easy to read as opposed to needing to tilt your head sideways, right? Um, so, it's it's really just wonderful. It has fantastic pictures. Um, Mr. Hatfield, uh, Samuel Hatfield, had, um, had taken really great pictures, especially of the elements of the buildings, you know, the little windows and... and things like that, bit of molding here and there. So really had an eye for that and clearly a fantastic camera. Uh, now, I'm at 142 subscribers now. If you're in, thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. And uh, if you're enjoying the content and haven't subscribed, why haven't you subscribed? There's room for more. There's always room for more. So please subscribe. And when you do subscribe, click on the notification bell and you will be notified each and every time I upload a brand spanking shiny new video just for you. Which as of March, March, March 2nd, 2022, uh, I still upload every day of the week. Wow. Holy cow. I mean, it is oh, 4.12 a.m. 4.12 a.m. 
Anyway, it's 4.12 a.m. And, uh, anyway, it just happens to be the time of day. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I really enjoyed making these things for you, these book recommendations, which, you know, these are not my, some of my more popular videos, um, as, as of right now, but they may take off. I do try to suggest books that I think you'll really enjoy reading. These are books I have enjoyed over time. And I've certainly used this series for tons and tons and tons of research over the years, certainly when I was a tour guide. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this one too. Alrighty, so this is Patricia and I am traveling for history. Until I see you later today, uh, you have a great, a great day. And um, so thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.